My favourite is the chickens and it always will be because they're so social and they're very friendly to me and they've all got different personality but we've also got meerkats, porcupines and then like amphibians which would be like the frogs, we got millipedes, snails but mostly on the unit it'll be like pigs, um, goats, I've got some guinea pigs as well basically. My name is Lola Hollett and I'm taking animal care level three. So I'd start off by just getting on the bus, getting down here and then putting on my PPE first. I do it in the changing rooms down over there, you know, get ready and then go meet Laura at the beginning. And she'll just go through what we're doing, where we are and what we're cleaning out. So, we'd, you know, get our little check boards about this big and then you'd have to go get stuff from like the storage and then go up to your animal and clean it out basically. But you do get to interact with the animals, you get to feed them. So it's quite a nice, you know, beginning of the start of the day. Down on the unit, we would do a little bit. Um, we'd just be educated on like, how to handle the animal, which way you'd want to approach it and how to like just observe natural behaviour before you do anything with them. But mostly up if we're in the main building we'll learn more about the animal's like backstory, like the history of an animal and just such on how to learn about them. Probably being able to actually interact with the animals because down in my other like school we wouldn't have anything to do with actual animals so I had to come up here and being able to actually go in there and personally see them then on like a picture or a screen is very different and much better for me in my learning because I'm more of a visual learner than you just flat on a piece of paper so I would definitely prefer to be able to go in there actually interact with the animals because I'll remember be better about it. As you can tell obviously the chickens I know more about anything than anything else because I'm mostly in there. There's more support here than I would have had in my last school. You know, the teachers are really helpful in my needs because I need a computer to talk, write, for example, because I'm not very good at, I can't read my own writing basically. Dyslexia, autism, yada, yada. But coming down here, they've, you know, let me use my computer in my class. They can let me, they can help me after college. I can stay behind and they can help me with all my animal care stuff that I maybe didn't listen in in the lesson and I need to learn more about. So yeah, you get much more support here than what you would, let's say, another school.